using the bamboo fiber as opposed to a wood fiber um, is also another big part of our, uh, our product line. Uh, the reason for that is the bamboo is classified as a grass. It's not classified as a wood. So Everlast is a fully FSC certified company. We have an FSC uh, you know, number. So uh, in other parts of the world, that's also a big deal. You know, to supply these products that are not FSC uh, compliant is also an issue. I know in the US that's a whole, you know, another conversation from a chain of custody perspective and so on. But, you know, from, from our position, uh, and that's really all we can control, we are fully FSC certified. To my knowledge, probably the only wood plastic composite company globally that is FSC certified. I, I don't know of any others. Bamboo does, in some cases, have a negative connotation. Okay? It came up on our recent trip, it's come up several times, where as soon as you say we use a bamboo fiber, they immediately associate that with a strand woven bamboo. So strand woven bamboo is a timber type product. Okay? They basically take bamboo and they, they tear the bamboo, because it's all bonding edge to edge, they tear the bamboo into, into long fibers that almost look like nylon or carpet fiber so it's almost like hairs like long hairs of the bamboo what they then do is they take a they have a process of almost carbonizing where they heat the bamboo up to around 200 degrees celsius and in that process they try to change the chemical structure of the bamboo and get rid of the of the sugars in that in that process when they're done with that they put it into a press a really big uh, high pressure press and they press it into basically looks like particle boards you know uh, generally they'll be say uh, 10 feet long eight feet long once they press that into a board that board then gets profiled into planks so the board comes out they then cut it up into planks and those planks are often used for decking so there's a company for example dasso that is selling in the u.s that is a strand woven bamboo okay. it is not a wood plastic composite and it is more similar to wood than it is to wood plastic composite. Way more similar to wood than it is to wood plastic composite. Now, a lot of people have had negative instances or negative cases with that strand woven bamboo product. They will talk about mold, okay, where yes, they don't get all the sugar out and there is still a starch component and the mold can feed off of that starch component in the bamboo where on our product, the mold cannot feed on anything, not even on the generation one product line, even though there are uh, small particles of bamboo fiber that are on the surface, there have been additives developed, which are anti mildew type additives that we do use in our gener generation one product line, which really just stop the ability of a geosporum a mold to eat onto the material. Now, you can never say that, no, it will never get mold, because mold is a super survivor of the earth. There are more than 10 million known species of geosporum. They are the first thing that was ever on earth, and they will be the last thing that was ever on earth. And they can live on anything. So if there's pollen, organic matter, you know, leaves, whatever it is, that's what they eat. So if that is on top of the deck, they can sit on the deck and they will eat that, but they cannot eat the deck board, which means you can get them off. Only when they start feeding on the, the substrate, in the case of strand woven bamboo, that's often what happens. They start feeding off of the actual proteins and sugars that are in the strand woven bamboo, and that's when they, they decolor or they deface the actual aesthetic appearance of the material. And then they're really hard to get them off. Okay, so. If that question does come up, I have had it a few times, you know, you've got to be clear that this is not a strand woven bamboo, it's an entirely different production process, completely different. In our case, we would be encapsulating or um, homogeneously mixing the bamboo fiber into the plastic matrix. So when you look at a polymer matrix, um, it really looks like a three-dimensional spider web. There are all these carbons that are coming in at all these angles, and in between these carbons, there are little pockets in the spider web. 
and the bamboo fiber is mixed into the little pockets of the polymer matrix. So what our intention is, is to separate the particles from one another. So as we separate them from one another, we only leave an exposed fiber independent of the others, which means if moisture gets onto that fiber, it can only interact with that single fiber. It cannot travel or wick itself into the material. So bamboo has a really low oil content and it's a really good filler for us to mix in the plastic or polymer matrix. We can mix it evenly and disperse it evenly. So if you look at our products, if you look at a cut end of our product line, it's clear to the eye that it's very evenly dispersed, very evenly mixed, right? So it is often more difficult to evenly disperse a wood fiber than it is a bamboo fiber. Uh, wood fibers are always bonding end to end. So when you put them through a high speed uh, grinding or milling process, they are really, you know, these splinters, the long splinters are really, you know, smashed by these high velocity, um, you know, mills. It's a very aggressive process. And once you do that and you end up with a fiber, if you look at that fiber under a microscope, on its ends, you often see like what we'd call a fractal. It's frayed, so it splits like that. So it almost looks like a splinter, and on the end of the splinter, it's splintering again. And that's where it you know, received the impact. Um, what happens often with those is they, they connect together. It's like Velcro. And when you put it all in a you know, big vat, those um, ends connect to each other, and it makes it difficult from a compounding process to actually separate them from one another because they, they want to stick together. Okay, where with a bamboo, uh, we don't find that. If you look at our bamboo fibers, they are more like little rectangles or little squares. That's the particle uh, size and the particle distribution. They're not really splinters. And the bamboo, if you've ever you know, taken a piece of bamboo, when you split it, you can sort of just split it. It splits really on its side. You know? um, and if you break a piece of bamboo you know, along its uh, length, it's much easier to break than a piece of wood is. A piece of wood you sort of break, you can't separate you know you've got to really kind of work that where bamboo if you split it it will kind of just break and you can take the two pieces apart so that's just the nature of the material itself so that you know from our point of view is another benefit being um, FSC being classified as a grass bamboo grows within three years so you harvest bamboo and three years later it's fully grown again it removes carbon from the atmosphere at a extremely rapid rate way faster than what wood does so that's another reason you know that that we do use it and I think the processing of the bamboo is something that we handle ourselves something we have a lot of experience with now and from a raw material perspective as a filler it's something we believe is certainly better than than wood